All right, let's look at some updates and then we'll give them a test ride. So it's been pretty wet, so the whole bottom area has been pretty tough to work, but I've made some decent updates in the uh, middle section here. So let's see, I added this double. This used to be the takeoff and land somewhere around there on a little hip, and it didn't really flow well. You had way too much speed, um, and I wanted it to be uh, bi-directional. So I built up a new takeoff. So little hip, kind of float on the shark fin sideways, or take it low to the short safe side. And now you have more of a traverse to head straight up for the little rhythm section or go off on any of those avenues. Otherwise, I've reshaped this a little bit just to get more of a push because from here, we can either drop in, do the steeps on the right, uh, go straight, hit the little double, or come left and stay on this little middle terrace and use the berm as a jump and float out there, hip left a little bit, land on more of the shared landing. So with any of those, it leads into this new takeoff. And previously, this was just a hip, go right, drop down there. Now it comes up, straight shot sort of towards the tractor. Let's see, it's maybe, I think it's like 17 feet or so to like that kind of grass patch where it just rolls over the knuckle, but it's only, I don't know, eight feet or so to get across the grass. I don't want to see how it works, but maybe the dead grass gets shaved out a bigger slab so you can kind of shoot uphill a little bit and hip into it to run into the berm. Next new bit is a little channel. Okay, so this one was here before, just a little lofty bit, a little, it's uh, I think maybe 12 feet to clear the berm, straight off. Otherwise, we have this dual purpose feature. So if we were to take that kind of hidden jump, land on this landing, you can either take it wide and use it as a berm to cross the road, do a little chicane, or cut the berm, straight shot it, and you have two options. The first one is just a little uh, floater into this kind of quarter pipe, steep bit, and then launch off of the berm and land deep on that shared landing somewhere. What I'd like to build up to is huck from here and clear the berm. That's the biggest new feature here. The grass gap is something like 20 feet. This is about 25. It drops maybe six feet, so a lot more air time. We'll see how ambitious I get, but I could see that taking a bit. Otherwise, I think it'll be fun just to come in with a little speed, drop in, and kind of boost out of that. All right, let's give it a shot. Okay. Number one. Two. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Woo ha ha! Woo ha ha! All right, next thing I want to edit is this downhill corner. It's a bit off camber. I put a bunch of dirt there, but the line is about here, exactly where the water runs. I'm skittish, but I think a bit of shaping get a lot better run up for that double. Still hittable, it just takes a little more finesse. Let's see if we can finesse it. Okay, slow in, fast out. Whoa. Whoa, barely. <laughs> oh, and you can almost get to the top without a pedal. Let's see if we can link it all together. End up back on the road. Good. Oh, that's one of my favorite turns out here. Stay high and dry. Oh, best jump I've hit. Stay slow. Ah! And just one pedal to get out. All right, it's working. Oh, I'm liking that, that's feeling pretty good. Next thing I wanna try 
dropping in here backwards, seeing if these adjustments helped. So when I'm coming this way, I'm landing way up high, and when I'm coming straight on, I've been taken off about here, so I shaved off another foot or so, and I'm definitely utilizing it all, but I think that'll really help for getting over there and making the out just that much easier. It was so tight before. All right, let's see if it works. Most of the stuff out here doesn't take a ton of speed, but this little feature does. I've had to be railing around this berm drop-in to get anywhere close. Oh, much better, much better. Ah! That actually has me really hopeful. I'm gonna go to the top and try and do a full run. So the jump section I've been doing, loop around here, hit that backwards, do the big hairpin next to the rock and do all the jumps. Let's see if we can put it all together. There we go. Good top. Focus. Oh, good. Exit out. <laughs> Whew. Okay, the rest. In and out. Let's go. Ah, whatever. Keep it going. Ah, look for it. Ah, okay. It's almost there, man. It's a lot of work. I'm holding my breath the whole time, but from there, shark fin, roller, berm jump. You can get it. I want to try a shortcut to get to the bottom just to see if I can link all that together. It's staying drier than I expected. I've done a fair amount of work on drainage and it's not wet at the parts I want to ride. So, mission accomplished, other than this disaster. Whoa, God, that's good. Break into it. Ooh, I love that. Okay, so the speed's definitely there. Wah! Style leaves a bit to be desired, but a little work, I think I can link it all. Okay, look. Breathe, smile. Okay, figure out this run up. It's not great. Nice, stay outside. Good. Uh, breathe. Not much of an in and out. Oh boy, that was sketchy. Keep it going. Uh -huh. Woo. Uh, room for improvement. But take the mud away and get a better rider. That'll play. 